Mara and welcome to the Pattern Queen Special Extra, Mara's April Whip video. If you're new here, I started the year with about 180 whips and I am trying to work through every single one of them during the year. So I have put them into groups and split them up by month and each month I'm working on a different group of my whips. I work on them for one day each and then I have my whip go and my 25 seven and I, it gives me a lot of variety to work from. So I'm going to jump right in. My first one is Bunny in a Basket from You and I and Friends. I used to belong to their Black Sheep Club. So these, these kits are old, 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 old. And I started this one a couple of years ago during Mania. That's how far it got. And I love that. I still, I, I really enjoy rabbits. You're going to see a big theme for this month is rabbits because of Easter. And my next one, because of spring, my next one is from the Cricut Collection and it is Love and Carrots. Now, when she designed this, she designed the L backwards accidentally, but I'm going to use the chart and turn the L around I think to be the same direction as the other letters although I may get there and just go with it but this is where I am so far on it I'm doing my own conversion of flosses I just chose things I think I used mostly what was suggested but did do some uh, different things to poke in there on my own next up I have prairie fairies and I, of course, started with the rabbit over on this side. And you are just going to be amazed at my start. It looks like this. This was one of my 22 for 22 that I started on uh, December 31st and January 1st. And mo you will see a lot of straight lines and little bitty parts today because we worked on each of those projects for about a half hour each during Zoom uh, sessions with the Black Needle Society. That one I have in this pretty Judy bag. Next is Hands-On Design Present Blessings. I saw this one and just fell in love. And again, this is one with a straight line start. So, I will get some more in there this month and we'll we'll see some good progress. Then I have from the drawn thread spot of spring. I have this whole series, so I have all four of these. This is such a pretty one. Um, but again, another one of my 22 for 22. So I have the birds started they're kind of funny little guys and they'll they're right in the middle I wanted to start in the middle because these were pre-cut pieces of fabric so I have spring glory from sisters and best friends and this one I'm doing on a piece of 40 count linen from silk weaver just think it's a gorgeous color I am filming at night so my colors will not be the best to show you everything from the drawn thread I have Easter egg sampler it is a really sweet piece and I struggle some with it but I am trying to persevere <laughs> and I have this much done so far I love how the colors look on this. This is full of um, specialty stitches and it's just beautiful. I'm using the called for 36 count antique white Edinburgh linen. Um, it was a kit and I am using this cute bag from Garon Toten Bags. There's the inside. It's a fun one. 
So then I have another one of my old You and I and Friends Black Sheep kits. This one is called Wooly Hair. And it came in this little box. And it is chunky. So it is on, I want to say it's on an 18 count. And you stitch over two on it. And I, have, I haven't done very much on this. So what I have is a couple of big lines and I will get to go back and fill things in as I go and this one I put in one of our love you more sleeves I love these snails they're so fun I'm looking at what's next over here and it is from Plum Street and this one is called primitive mood keep and it looks like this, uh, this way. So you stitch both pieces of that. I started with the blessings. And I found this beautiful fabric. Um, I am using Katie's favorite fabric and it has escaped me for the moment. I'll have to ask her and I'll tell you when we come to it during the month. Next up, I have a really, really old one. This is probably one of my oldest whips. Um, and it is from an old Cross Stitch and Country Crafts magazine from March, April, 1993. It looked like this. It's called Bunny Talk. And I found this piece of peacock linen in my stash and decided to start it and I have changed the colors on the ribbon so it will look a little different than what she has but uh, I will see how I go with that one I'm not quite sure if I am going to keep on or if this one will find a new home but it's a sweet piece. I love the rabbits. So hopefully it will work out well. Then next up I have Cats in the Rain from Madame Chantilly. This one is really fun. And I have this beautiful piece of 28 count feldspar from Picture This Plus. That's how far... Oh can't even tell because the floss is in the way but that is how far I've gotten it was also one of my 22 for 22 and it's in another love you more sleeve so then I have favorite things from a needle and Fred this one I have had started for a long time pull stitches designs did a collaboration and they did a uh, different dragon shade this is a dragon shades fabric um, but they did a happy hour box and this one is called black current wine and I will have to look I believe this one actually goes this way that would make sense and the thing for me is that this is a Jobelin and if you've been here for a while you know that I don't really get along very well with even weaves but I'm going to put it in my hoop and see if I can make it work. I love this one. Kind of goes with our steampunk theme. Then I have Uber Egg from Bent Creek. It's such a fun one. And I have this beautiful piece of 10 Count Tula from Picture This Plus. It's this gorgeous purple. And I am using pearl cottons and kind of doing uh, my own conversion of colors that are close. So it's a really fun one to work on. And this one I have in one of my favorite sleeves. It is called Agrabah. I just love all the colors in that. Okay, and then I also have from Modern Folk Embroidery this beautiful piece called A Secret Sky. And it's a Quaker sampler. I love this one. It says, this is love to fly toward a secret sky to cause a hundred veils to fall each moment. I just think it's gorgeous. 
and I got this piece of fabric and then I started questioning myself whether or not it was really big enough. So I did this line all the way across after I had done the bottom motif. I'm really happy with the start I have on this and it's one that I, I enjoy pulling out so it will be fun to work on this one this month. And um, I had just seen my friend Judy and she brought her bags with her and look at this I just thought it was perfect since I was doing that all in blue so those are all of the whips then I have for my 25-7 this one is called um, Floral Darth Vader and it's from Nerdy Needle Design Co it's an old one. I don't think it's even available anymore. But this is how far I am. This is one that I am stitching for my daughter Bree. And I would really like to get this done in the next couple of months so that I could take it and get it framed um, before she moves this, this next fall. So it's an exciting time for her. And I just like to have give her something that she really likes. She is a big, big Star Wars fan. One of my Whipco projects this month is Keisha's Choice. And of course, it is Blackberry House by Plum Street Samplers. She says that she is going to be the reason uh, single-handedly that I get this project finished. Right now, I am in the middle of filling in this urn. I just love this. And this is on a piece of uh, Picture This Plus linen that Keisha says reminds her of smashed blackberries. So there you have it. Uh, my other whip go for this month is Katie's Choice and I, I would think maybe she is going to choose Anniversaries of the Heart, but she said she might switch it up this month, so she hasn't decided yet, and when she chooses, I'll let you know. But that is it for my April Whips. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you check back in with this. Comment down below and let me know which one is your favorite whip for the month for me. Bye. Hi, Stitchers. Hi. I'm Keisha. I'm Laura, and welcome to the Pattern Queens, episode 86. Today is Sunday. I have to look at the calendar, April 3rd, and this is a channel about cross-stitch. And friendship, and rambles, and lots and lots of shenanigans, and no books, so no script. So us just being like, yep, this is how we do them. <laughs> this is how we do it. <laughs> well, a little musical interlude. Because I would... <laughs> that's just kind of how we roll hey if you are new here welcome to the channel um we definitely have a lot of fun filming together and if you are uh, a returning viewer thank you so much for coming back week after week we enjoy so much that you guys come and that you comment and if we think about it we'll try and ask you a question because i know that when you're watching these things it's hard to remember what to comment on when you get to the end. But some people just leave emojis and different pictures and that's lovely too. Yes. Um, you wanna give a little life update? Well, let's see. Yesterday, um, the city that I work for um, had a grand opening of a disc golf park and they brought out the Kansas City Disc Dogs to do a demonstration and throw Frisbees. So I took my boy my husband and I went and he was enthralled. He danced to the music. He clapped every time they caught one. He was the only kid in the audience. So all of the people were like, oh, let's bring the dog up to the kid because that's fun. And James loves to look at dogs. Doesn't love it when dogs come close. We don't have a dog. My parents have dogs, but he doesn't really want to get up close to them either. He likes them from a distance. So they would like come up with their dogs and he'd just go, no, 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 no. And, and they'd be very apologetic. And I'm like, oh no, it's okay. I know your dogs are nice. And then I'd get to pet the dogs. So that was okay. But, <laughs> so that's what's been going on with us. <laughs> How about
about you? Well, uh, I'm in a different place today and you can see all of the mm -hmm. eye candy back here. Um, I'm in the living room. Katie needed to take care of some things in her room today. So I'm filming in here, but we spent some time this week and got all of our pictures hung up and I'm looking around some because I just showed Keisha. It is, we have our uh, framed pieces on three of our walls here in the living room and it mm -hmm. is fabulous to look at yes, so very much so i keep seeing new things like i see the dragon that katie designed and yes the fish that you stitched in memory yes. of your dad and your cancer and your uh your skeleton crew i see up there yeah There's just it's i work. love it there it is in it all its glory and then there are some uh there are some fun things that we've gotten hey i'm going to tell you so katie stitched this one which you can't really see it says made in the USA, but from the same leaflet was this one, which says Yankee Doodle Dandy. Oh, fun. And I bought this one from the shop as a shop model. Oh. And I counted on my walls, and I think I have like five shop models that I bought, which oh, I know everybody's like, well, but I didn't stitch it. Yeah, but for the price that you pay, it's way less than if you framed it yourself. And if it's something you were going to stitch, maybe you can use that time to stitch something else. Because if you're like me and have 180 whips, not anymore. But if you have a lot of whips, then it's kind of nice to get something like that. And, and one of the ones that I have, um, my LNS, my long time LNS closed, and they were selling everything off. And I went and I found a piece that was a shop model. And it's one that says, when this you see, remember me. And for the initial box, they put OMS, which is Old Mill Stitchery. Oh, nice. And I love it. So yes. you know, now I have a, a remembrance of the shop. So it, it's kind sure. of fun to do that. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Like you said, I mean, I know with me, there's no way I'm ever going to stitch everything that I'd like to stitch. Mm -hmm. I just don't have enough time. So it's nice whenever you can get pieces like that so that you can hang them up. Yes. So anyway, that's uh, pretty much what's going on at my house. Jeff has been home now for a week and is doing well. Wonderful. And he's just kind of enjoying, he's settling in to being home and mm -hmm. is really enjoying it. So nice. That's great news. That's pretty much it. The other thing I should tell you, I'm going to get this up today on Sunday and for love you more studio, because Jeff's been out of commission and we've just been busy with everything. We haven't had anything new for a month, the <laughs> whole month of March. I don't think we had anything new. So on Friday, on April fool's day, we announced that if you make a purchase in the Love You More shop this weekend, so through today, through uh, April 3rd, midnight, if you make a purchase that includes a book sleeve, we will send you a free book sleeve of our choice. Ooh, well, that's exciting. <laughs> it's just kind of a, you know, we, we know we've been away and we just really appreciate the grace we've been given to have the time to do what we needed to do to take care of our family. So, right. so if you get a full size book sleeves, those will fit a page pattern. So mm -hmm. they're wonderful as um, quick just grab and go project bags. So, and I'll show you a, a standard when we get to whips here in a while. The standard is good for just like your Mill Hill kits. That's what I keep a lot of my. <laughs> well, and that work with a with a half fold piece. Mm -hmm. So, you just sometimes it's a little bit of a squeeze, but you can see what works. Okay, are we ready to move on? Yes. How about some stash? Do you have any? I have a little bit of stash, and it's just because I went on Etsy and. Um, you know how you go down a rabbit hole on things you're like oh i want to look at things that look like this and i want to look at things that look like this i was looking at um cross stitch travel posters because someone had posted something somewhere and i was like oh i'd like to see if they have one and i found a shop that had like all of the states so i looked and i looked and i found missouri and it was a picture of st louis which oh. is the biggest city in missouri but I don't live in St. Louis. I live in Kansas City. So then I looked to see if they had any Kansas City ones. And this place called Awesome Pattern Studio have this. 
Cool. And I just really liked it. So I got it. So, and it's compatible with Pattern Keeper. So there Yay. we go. So I might have a new start in my future, but that's the only stash that, that I have with me. I know that you ordered us some things, but we don't have it yet. Yeah, we'll talk about those when they come in. How about that? Mm -hmm. Sounds good to me. Um, so my stash is that from Erica Michaels, I got chocolate or coffee. Ooh, I love nice. this. Not only do you get the coffee pattern, the chocolate pattern, but you also get a berry pattern. Oh, fun. And I just think those are just so fun. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm thinking about a way to make the chocolate one into a small for one of my events this year, maybe. Ooh, that'd be fun. Yeah. So, and then I finally got my February silks for you. Mm -hmm. And this is my floss of the month club. This is one that you know in advance. I mean, I knew that it would not get here during the month of February. Um, they're in Australia. They do have a U.S. distributor, but still they ship everything to the U.S. distributor who then packages it individually and gets it all ready and sends it out. So right. it's fine. I still get silks every month, but you know, I'm going a little crazy and right. they come in these cute little bags. I know how okay. we all like our bags and things. Yeah. Look at this month. Ooh, that's so pretty. So this, they just have numbers. Mm -hmm. There's this beautiful rosy brown. I love this gold. Yes. The uh, burgundy. Ooh, that one's really pretty. Yes, like maple leaf color. Mm -hmm. And then this variegated one that kind of ties them together. Oh, yeah. So they are just gorgeous. I'm I'm really happy that I opted to um, go with this Silks Club because it's just fun to get them. And because they are standard colors in their shop, if I find something that I want to use for a project, then I can order more. So yeah, that's nice. Yeah, it's just kind of like setting up a, a collection of all of the basics and going from there. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Because sometimes, even though limited edition clubs are really fun, if you're using floss and you run out, then you have to find someone who's willing to trade. So that's yes, kind of yes, <laughs> not always easy, right? Right, right. <laughs> I know you know that because you did that with your Abralowney, you ended up yes, with claws like that way. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and a lot of times, I don't know, with me, I'll get something and then I won't use it for a long time. And then it's like, oh, does anyone have this from a couple of years ago? Yes. Well, even like DMC changes their um, dye lots from time to time. Yes. So yes. if you have something old and hello, my whips are <laughs> old. <laughs> then um, I could end up really hunting for the right color or becoming very strategic with how I put them in. Yes, yes. <laughs> That's all I have too. So I do have one more little thing I picked up yesterday, but I'll talk about that later. Okay, so. sounds good. How about sounds whips? Good. All right, whips. So I have been very dedicated the past week or so to working on things. So the first thing that I worked on was Fun Every Day from Sam Sarah. I'm working on the 30, which you'll actually see. You can, it's more than just a border today. <laughs> wow. So, so there we go. I'm working on this. Um, we were doing one and a half panels a month. I think I'm just going to try to finish this one this month um, just to kind of get back in the swing of things. Mm -hmm. So I mean, there's still 2,812 stitches, so that's quite a bit to yes. accomplish, but I think I'm only going to do one. <clears throat> and then I worked on, I've been working really steadily on Autumn and Stars Hollow from the Black Needle Society. And I really stitched a lot <laughs> on this <laughs> last week. So here it is wow. now. So this is on 32 count um, even weave, just white even weave. And I have a piece big enough for all four parts. 
Um, but this, I just have it folded. So I pretty much, I put in like some of the gold, all of the light blue there. And then basically this whole bottom of the building here. And then this part. So I only have that spot left. Just, um, I think I might be under a thousand stitches now. You're Left doing so it. good. Thanks. My plan is to finish it this month, but we'll kind of see how things go. Um, and then I uh, realized that I need to get an exchange piece done for the Camp Black Needle and, in August. So I have started working on the piece that I picked for that, which is Bear Canoe from Mill Hill. And I told Laura, I was like, I might have to do a 25-7 again so that I can make sure I get this done with all of my other goals. So I've actually worked on it for 25 minutes the past couple of days. And here's where Look I am. Look how cute he is. <laughs> so I put in um, all of the black, all of the red. I really just had this darker brown and a little bit of the light brown. So I've got quite a few stitches in, close to 100, I think in the past couple of days working on that. And then my new favorite time of the month, um, the new part of ABC Dinosaurs from Clouds Factory came out. So here's what the whole piece looks like now. And I'm stitching on F and G are the new parts. And I have a real big, exciting start on it. <laughs> it's like a hundred stitches, but I've put in all of this like kind of peach color on that dinosaur. Oh, and, it's gonna be good. Yes. And this is on 36 count Arctic Fox from Fibrana Win with just one strand. So um, here's the whole thing, the whole big piece of fabric for it. But so a teeny tiny start. And um, so this pattern is compatible with Pattern Keeper. So I put it in there. Every month, the parts have been like 1,800, 1,900 stitches. This one's only about 1,100. Wow. So They're light, taking a break on month. you. Yes. <laughs> They're going to let you finish that Gilmore Girls piece. I know it. So I'm excited about that. But anyway, <laughs> so that's all of the things that I worked on this week, which is more than I usually work on in a week. <laughs> yes. Um, I didn't even ask if you had any finishes this week. Oh, no, I didn't have any finishes. Me either. So, and um, this was the last week of the month and I did finally catch up with all of my March whips. So this week I devoted to my long dog, Life After Death. And I am working, I have to turn it and see. I am working down kind of in this area. Mm -hmm. And I had a page finish last month. So I was pretty pleased with that. And I got in a lot of stitches this month. It just, you know, there are times when things just work for you. Well, this is one of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is where I am. Whoa. You've got so much accomplished. My goodness. I, and here's the funny thing. Okay. You look at this big chunk and all those stitches. This mm -hmm. is about 12 and a half percent. <laughs> These things are so big. How many <laughs> stitches are in yours? Do you remember? Oh, I want to say like 54,000. Oh, see, there's something. there's just over 81,000 yeah. in Death by Cross Stitch. I knew yours was way bigger. <laughs> um, I'm stitching mine, oops, with a Silks for You floss that is just beautiful. Oh, um, so I cut mine and then put one of these quilt mm -hmm. hugs on it. And I'm stitching on 36 count hydrangea antique hydrangea from picture this no no try it again antique hydrangea from r and r reproductions mm. and i just love it it is a fabulous linen okay i'll shove that in later because it will be really noisy <laughs> and then the other thing that i dedicated time to first of all look at this cool bag from judy Ooh, so pretty mine has purple inside yes. so yeah love these um, I have been working on trying to say this quietly, my floral Darth Vader, mm -hmm. which I'm stitching for Brie. And I got a lot. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's 
that's big progress. So I put in about 10% this week. Wow. Now this one only, only has, um, I want to say like 27,000 stitches, but it's really fun. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to do a little bit of the fill in between. So um, I was able to finish up all of the other colored stitches. And then I put in the 930 background Nice there. And I'm just working on more filler color or more uh, detail color so that I can then fill in again. Mm -hmm. And then um, I think I'll probably attach the two videos because I did them. I did my whip parade last night. Mm -hmm. So I did that so that I could have work on a project. And what I worked on, Jeff chose for this time, what I worked on was woolly hair. Oh, fun. From you and I and friends. And this one I had, there are two green lines, a bottom one and an inside top one. That's what I had stitched mm. when I started this. This is on an 18 count natural linen that you stitch over two oh. uh, with a lot of floss. And um, the bunny is all in shepherd silk and it's only a half cross. Look at this. Wow. I love that big bendy bunny. He's fun. Isn't that fun? Yes. <laughs> so he's only going to be half cross, but I'll show you real close. That is a thick floss. And so doing a half cross leaves it that yeah. full on basically nine count. Yeah. Holding it back. You can't really tell a whole lot of difference. Mm -mm. And wow. it's got a little bit of color variation in it. A little subtle, you know, mm -hmm. really pretty though. And it, it's just so fun. I don't want to stop, but I'm going to have yeah. to go on to another project. But it's buddy month. But it is my whole month is going to be something fun. And yeah, I have a couple pieces that I'm like, oh, that's going to be painful, but it'll be okay. Yeah. You got to mix it in with your favorite thing, right? I, yes. And I chose a lot of um, fun pieces this month. Mm -hmm. And they're specifically in there because I have a couple that are really, really challenging. So yeah. it'll be okay. And I think that I was missing a couple when I did my whip parade. So mm -hmm. I will have to dig through the, through the stash in there and see where they got shifted to and mm -hmm. pull them back out and into this, this month stuff. And if I don't find them, they'll go someplace else during the year. Right. Yeah. But that's oh, it for my whips. Wow. Well, I mean, you had huge <laughs> progress on those two. Oh my goodness. I can't even believe it. <laughs> so we only worked on three things this week, but it, it is a rare week. Whenever I work on more things than you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so that is, that's all of the current stitching. Do you have plans that you want to talk about? So my overall plans for April, just overall, is I want to finish um, the panel that I'm working on a fun every day. I want to finish Autumn in Stars Hollow. I'm going to try to finish up Bear Canoe. And um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much kind of, well, and then the part of ABC Dinosaur. So everything that you saw today, I'm hoping to have finished, or at least, you know, the part finished. And then of course, the thousand stitches on death by cross stitch. And then I'm just kind of leaving the rest of the time open because you never know when models are going to come your way. Yes. So, um, <laughs> though I am planning on if I have any extra time, um, if I like meet my goals, that I might work on Helianthus from Ink Circles some more. So I would love to pull that out too. Yeah. And it's such a fun springy one too. That so. reminds me. I had more stash, but maybe I will, we'll show it next week. Okay. All right. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You did say you were going to show us more. Um, but anyway, in the next week, I'll probably just work on those same things that I just showed you again. Plus, plus death by cross stitch, because that's always fun. Yeah. So what about you? I guess you're going to show us your big whip parade anyway. 
Yes. So it's, I've already filmed it. Like I said, I probably showed it before this video because I'll just put them together. Mm -hmm. It only took about 15 minutes. So okay. it's not, it won't add that much time to our video today. Um, and then um, our friend Molina from Count, Count Twice, Stitch Once is the mermaid queen. And she was talking about starting a mermaid ed, and I said, oh, wait, I have a mermaid. Oh, this is God. the mermaid I have, Mermaid of the Pearls. Ooh. And um, Melina has it also. So I think she's going to start that one. And I happened to see it when I was at Picture This Plus years ago when they still had the retail store. And somebody had stitched it on um, some splash linen. Mm -hmm. It is gorgeous. And actually, I think it'll probably go this way with the lighter part at the top mm -hmm. and the darker part at the bottom. But it is just beautiful. And, you know, I said to Melina, I have one, I have one. Want to start the same one? We can start together. So part of what I did yesterday for Stash is that I went and got all the DMC for it, except for one color. And then I got um, oh, those three might be the same. I got some of the braids. I still have oh, one wow. braid I need. Maybe I got all the braid. It's hard to tell. And I got a chunk of the beads. So just tons of little beads. Now, oh, wow. they did not have the treasures mm -hmm. at the cross stitch shop. So I'm going to have to order those as well. Wow, that's gonna be so good. Lots of stuff. So I was going to put this in a book sleeve because I have a mermaid book sleeve. And then I thought, um, no, <laughs> no, I won't because <laughs> yes, with all on. this stuff, by the time I get it all together, there's just not enough room for everything to comfortably and comfortably be in there. So it is in a plain old yes. bag and I, you know, that's it. I've thrown everything. I didn't show you guys the smaller book sleeve, but it's all too far away to reach now. Yeah. That's okay. <laughs> Let's see. I don't think, well, Katie Landis has a bunch, but I don't think I could pull one. Maybe I can. I don't think I can pull one out. They're not wanting to come out willingly. Okay. So <laughs> anyway, they will fit a half size pattern. So they will fit a pattern this size in them mm -hmm. uh, with a little bit of room most of the time. Uh, depending on how big your project is, if you have something with a lot of fabric and a lot of stuff, then it's not generally a good fit. And you'd yeah. probably want to go with a bigger sleeve with the full size sleeve. But um, <clears throat> my plans are to let my family choose and we'll go through those things and see what they pull out. Jeff pulled that one out. That was so fun. I, I just was cracking up that that's what he pulled out. And I had only managed the two green lines before. So I thought, oh, okay. But I really made great progress. So yeah, yeah it's nice to have that whole outline done. Mm -hmm. It was really encouraging. And mm -hmm. I didn't even point out the fact that I decided that they had given us um, more room, more border room around than they did. So the bottom of mine, has probably two, three inches and the top only has about an inch. Oh no. It's okay. It'll work. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be fine. But there were no, it was from an old, um, it was called the Black Sheep Club and it was designed exclusively for the Black Sheep Club in 1998. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I did not start it then. No. I just started it a couple of years ago. Is that one that you had seen? I've never seen that one. I wasn't sure if um, 
see, I'm trying to place when I did the you and I and friends starts because I started three or four of my kits. Oh. It's a full kit. Everything is in there. But mm -hmm. this one, for whatever reason, it must have been an earlier one. It did not say what the fabric is, how big it is, where oh. you need to start. Uh-huh. Nothing. Oh, gosh. So, <laughs> so you just I, went. <laughs> yes. So I will give you a secret about, not a secret, a tip about you and I and friends. If you buy any of those, and I know that they put those patterns back out there. Um, somebody bought the rights to sell them. I can't remember who it is, but somebody bought the rights to sell those, those charts. And when you're looking at them, it's Cam Slagle and Barbara Stark. And whoever's name is first is the one who designed that pattern. Oh, fun. That's cool. So, because they were a design team. That's, that's how they did that. Right. Nice. Yeah. So that's there cool is your little bit of knowledge for the week. That's great knowledge to have. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you are in our Whatcha you stitching group, I drew the card for this week, posted it already. It says stitch on something with bones. So like really think about this. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Pretty much anything with a creature, you're stitching bones. Yeah. Well, up. I was also thinking... I use my hand to stitch. It has bones in it. <laughs> <laughs> but like your um, the your dinosaurs. death by cross stitch would oh, have yeah. that. Your dinosaurs would have that. Yeah. The so. only thing that doesn't have it is fun every day because I'm just <laughs> stitching a three. <laughs> there you go. No bones about it. No bones in the three. <laughs> <laughs> but that's kind of a fun one. It's fun. We've been posting one every week. I missed one week in there, I think. Mm -hmm. But we've been posting one every week for people to um, have fun just with the challenge and to see what they can come up with to make fit with the card. Mm -hmm. So Very it's good. just, it's a fun way to get some conversation going and some pictures. We all like to see pictures oh, of each goodness. other's work. So yes. that's our Facebook group called Whatcha Stitchin'. Mm -hmm. And um, it has a picture of my cat, Poppy. Yes. Very cute cat. Very cute cat. And I've been posting on Instagram, but then I stopped for about a week, but I promise I'll post on there again. <laughs> I just forget sometimes. <laughs> well, and it's hard to, I mean, like I think about it during the day and I'm at work during the day. So oh, yes. by the time I get home, it's out of my head that I need to take a picture and do things. If I can remember to just get the picture, I can usually come up with five minutes to put together my post and post it. But when I do that, you oftentimes get the 1 a.m. very yellow photo. So. Now, my problem is, is I never remember to take a starting picture of what I'm doing. And then I'm like, oh, I'll just do it next time. And then I forget. It's a real struggle over, over here. <laughs> so by the time I get to sit down and stitch, I just want to sit down and stitch. <laughs> Well, and I have just been posting mine and saying good progress this week on because I figure, mm, you know, that's OK. Right. <laughs> so other than that, I think, you know, everything, all my stitching is just whatever gets pulled. It's random. I don't have to plan. I don't have to think about it. It's just random. Now I have a spreadsheet with how many stitches I need to do each day to accomplish my goal. Which is something that I genuinely like to do. I like to have like a challenge. I don't take it too seriously, but just because I've had kind of a crazy life so far in 2022, I haven't really been doing that. So in April, I'm like, I'm going to get back to doing that because I really liked doing that. So I think that it, even if you're, even if you don't hold yourself firmly to it, sometimes you can look at it and say, oh my gosh, that's all I have to stitch to get that done. Mm -hmm. I can do that. I can totally do that. Yeah. Yeah, so, for sure. So it's like me doing a separate WIPCO board for my life after death. It's right. It's a visual reminder that I want to make progress and I've been checking it off every month. It's been, yeah. it's been yeah, exciting that I'm getting it done. For sure. Yes. It's just nice to see progress sometimes. Yes. Um, the other thing I want to tell you is that 
Camp Black Needle Society still has some openings. We are going to leave that open until, oh, the early part of June, like the first week of June or until it fills. That's our in-person retreat held here in the Kansas City area. And there are all sorts of great shops and things around to be able mm -hmm. to go and explore. Um, it is going to be close to the Bass Pro Shop here in town. So that's kind of a fun thing. And we just are coming up with some things that'll be fun to do. It'll be close to my birthday. <laughs> yes. It's actually the weekend after my birthday. <laughs> It'll be about a month after Katie and I. So yeah. Yeah. We'll be in the midst of a of an online retreat at that point. Yes. A virtual yes. retreat. So ah, July birthdays. So yes. <laughs> yes. So do you think we've uh, had enough ramblings? Oh, for sure. And we definitely got up to some shenanigans today. I can't even say some shenanigans. We got up to so many. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we were supposed to come up with a question for them. Oh, oh. Hmm. Weather here has been crazy. How about what's your favorite part of spring? Ooh, that's a good one. Did mine you think is, of one too? Oh yeah. Mine is the budding trees. I got to see some really pretty budding trees, which I know are some people's least favorite because that means allergies. <laughs> <laughs> we have been dive bombed by birds. So that's interesting, but I love to listen to the birds coming back and yes. listen to their songs. It's very peaceful. Mm -hmm. uh, James is aware of birds. I, I didn't say this up top. I have a one and a half year old. Whenever I talk about the boy, that's him. <laughs> and and so now we see birds. He didn't really care about birds last year. This year he does. And I'll go, oh, it's a bird. Tweet, tweet. And he'll go, tweet, 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 tweet. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, that's our question. Put your answer down below. We love to see things like that. Hopefully that will help give you a something to remember. And for those of you who just do emojis, you can show us pictures of what you like. Yes. <laughs> Or just like, I'm really bad at leaving comments on videos yes. too. I get it guys. <laughs> yes. Yes. So with that, we're just going to say bye. Bye. Have a good week.